As you recall in the previous training video, we learned to go to three different screens to find out which resources are over allocated. And every screen had its own different use for finding and getting details about the over allocation. My favorite was the resource usage sheet because it was the most detailed of the three, wherein I can find the resource here in red that's over allocated, then over in the right pane get specific details about how many hours they're being overworked. Now, at a very simplistic level, if they're being overworked, you can do a couple of things. As you can see here, the writer's working on both tasks here at the same time on the same day, Friday. You can either take one of the tasks and push them out or delay it, or you can just have another resource work on that task and remove writer one from the second task. So unassign him from this task and reassign somebody else. Not too difficult. Well, Microsoft Project has a process of delaying or splitting the task automatically for you just basically with a single click to avoid the conflict. So if you click this button, it'll actually look at both these tasks that the writer one is working on and say, okay, I'm going to delay this task or I'm going to delay the top task out several days so he's not working on both of them at the same time or depending upon the task and how project figures it out, it'll actually split the task. So you're working on one task and you move along and you find that it conflicts with another, it may take that task, split it for zero days that you're working on it and then when the top task is finished or completed it'll continue on with that second task so either way it's going to be delayed and it's going to delay out the project's end date which by the way what's our project's end date come up here click on the project menu go down to project information and right now the finish date is October 6 okay keep that in mind click cancel now before I go ahead and level this or use projects leveling feature it's best to save a copy of project before you level it, even though you can clear the leveling, but keep in mind that after you level, if you add more resources and you find more conflicts, then you level the uh, project again. Project's only going to clear the most recent level. So again, you may want to save this as project 2, make a copy of it, do your leveling if you like it, then keep that version. Okay, to level it, it's really simple. Come up here, click on Tools, go down to Level Resources. Now we're going to use the uh, manual instead of automatic because automatic will level all over allocated resources instantly. It's going to prevent you from choosing to level or not. So I'm going to do it manually. Make sure by default that's selected and just go ahead and click on level now. And then it's going to ask you do you want to level the entire pool of over allocated resources or just the one that you have selected? Well I don't have the uh, over allocated resource selected. In which case, if I did, I could click OK, and it will figure out about this resource, whether to delay one of the tasks that it's working on of the two, or go ahead and split it. We're going to do the entire pool and click OK, and that's it. And wow, magically, they're no longer over allocated. Well, what did it do? Instead of trying to figure out here what it did if it delayed the uh, task or split it, one of the ways you can figure out what happened is to come up here and change views. Go up into the View menu come down to more views and I'm going to scroll up to the leveling Gantt. Just double click on that. Now it looks like the Gantt chart. Over here you have the entry table then over to the right you should have a chart. If you don't see it what I like to do is to right click up here on the time scale and go down to zoom and say zoom in on the entire project. Click OK and there we go. I'm going to scroll over just a little bit. Okay first of all before I go into the uh, screen here I want to know what the uh, project finish date is. Remember it was October the 6th, so I can either come up here and click on Project and go to Project Information. There it is, October the 21st, or I can look over here in the leveling chart. First off, notice that we have two different colored bars over in our resource leveling chart. Everything that's in green is what it was before it was pre-leveled, and then the blues are what it's like after it was leveled. So coming up to the top, you can see that there's not any change with the examine software. But when we go down to Search Internal Documentation, we have the pre-level, when you hover over it gives you the original date and times, and then you have it what it was like after it was leveled, and it did a couple of things. First of all, it delayed the task up to a certain point, and you can hover over that little gray line right here, and you should get a little pop-up there that it will tell you that it was five days delayed. Or you can come over here and look in the leveling delay, and you've got five E days, or five elapsed days. So it went from this point, the starting point, went down to this point and delayed it by five days. Then it started it, and then after a couple of days here, the 13th through the 17th, at the 17th it did a split. And this is what it looks like a split. It starts the task for a couple of days, and then it says, okay, we're just going to split it and complete it at a later date. 
So it delayed it and then what it couldn't finish here because of other resource conflicts, it split the task out because if you notice that Rider 1 is practically assigned to all these tasks so we can't have him start it here and continue on because then he'll be over allocated for another task. If you do it here, he's over allocated because he's working on these other tasks. So Project says, look, the next time that Rider 1 is free is way over here. So it split the task and says, this is the time when Rider 1 is available and he's not going to be in conflict with any other task that he's going to be working on. So there's the first elapsed days, the first split task. And then as you come down here, the next elapsed was this task right here. And you can look over here in the entry table. It went four days, elapsed days. So the green bar again, what it was originally before it was leveled, then the blue bar, and then the uh, gray line says we elapsed four days, and then we started that task after we used the leveling feature in project. Now because of all these delays and splitting the task especially, the project's end date is going to be delayed. You can see that originally when you hover over it, that it went out a couple of days from here, but notice that this task up at the top because of the split pushes it out even further. So originally without the split task you would say oh it's been delayed as you recall from hover over the green little diamond here, the pre-level, October the 6th. And then it goes to the October the 8th but because this task has been split and it's pushed out it says we've got some slack time here. So if you hover over that green bar and it's not pulling up here, it just quickly flashes, it'll actually give you the time of when the project finishes. If you can't see it here, the project's finish date, because it just flashes so quickly, you can come up and click on the project menu, go to project information, and there it is, October 21st. Again, its original pre-level date was October the 6th, and then because of the sequential successors here, it breaks it down to October the 8th, but we have a split task that goes beyond October the 8th, so the uh, milestone here, when the project finishes, has some slack time that goes all the way out, until that October the 21st, which we hover over the last task here, that ends on October the 21st. In fact, if I select it, you can see it's selecting it over here in the entry table, and I can drag the split bar out. Looking at the entry table, see that? It ends October the 21st. Down here it says the manual is going to be completed by October the 8th, but according to the chart, because of the slack time, because this task has been split, the finish date here should be the 21st. And of course the project summary task will summarize that for us and say, well, it is going to be the 21st. And go ahead and click and drag that split bar back and double click to snap it right to it. Now this is one of the reasons why I don't like using the uh, leveling features because it pushes things out that maybe I wouldn't choose to do. If you don't have the time to go ahead and figure out if you want to split a task or reassign another resource, because again, the leveling, all it does is it's either going to delay task or split them. It doesn't give you that flexibility, obviously, that you have to uh, say, well, I don't want Rider 1 to be working on this second task. I'll have somebody else. Or I'll increase their overtime hours. So they finish with this task a little bit early and start on the next task and still try to keep within the timeline of the project. So because of that flexibility, I don't use it, but you may find that it works for you. Now having said that, if you don't like the way it's leveled, at least in this instance, but you'll still be using it, you can hit the undo button several times, but if you click save and you no longer can undo it, then the only other thing you can do is to clear the leveling. Now keep in mind two things. If you keep leveling, it only clears the most recent leveling. So if this is the most recent, then you're in luck. If not, then you're out of luck, obviously. And then you have to revert back to your copies. If you made copies of your original before you uh, leveled it. The other thing to keep in mind is that there's only certain screens that you can clear the leveling in. And this is what I mean. For example, in this screen, if I want to clear the leveling, I'd come up here, click on Tools, go down to Level Resources, and then there's the Clear Leveling button. If I click Cancel and I right-click on the Collapse View Bar, and let's say I'm in the uh, Resource Sheet, and I come up here and click on Tools to Level Resources. Where's the clear leveling? I can't click on it here. So click Cancel. And a couple of screens that you can go to to get this option to clear your leveling is either the Leveling or Gantt Charts. So I can right click, go to the Gantt Chart, and I can clear the leveling here. Or right click, go down to More Views, and go to the Leveling Gantt. Double click on that, where we were just at. Come up, click on Tools go down to Level Resources, click Clear, say you want to clear the entire project, and click OK. And as you notice here in this view, you can see that we're back to square one because we have the greens, the pre-level, lined up with the same colors of the blue bars, which is after leveling. In other words, there's no leveling that's been done. 
and more to the point you can see when you cleared the leveling remember we had five elapsed days I believed it was here then four down below they went back to zero and zero and then when you click save project assumes that you notice the changes here and it clears out those highlighted or selected cells and then of course because you haven't leveled the over allocated resources if we go back and right click on the collapse view bar go back to the resource usage we're back to over allocated resources and then again it's up to us if you want to go ahead and unassign writer one to one of these tasks and reassign somebody else delay the task ourselves or push it out so it's not starting at the same time or as I mentioned in the previous training video you can contour your resources here by changing the individual work hours so instead of eight hours here put zero hours and put eight hours over here so we're basically saying don't put all your hours up front but backload it on this task why writer one is working on another task and as you recall when we change it for example zero hit enter notice here's the contour here when you hover over it says this assignment has been edited and then we come back here and we say well let's just delay it back to eight here hit enter and so the task is still X amount of days long including the first day here which is zero hours but the contour is going to say let's don't work it all up front let's work it towards the back of the duration of the task thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel get notified of the latest videos and for only two dollars a month you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos